The Nigerian High Court has granted FinBank approval to convene a meeting of its shareholders in order to take a decision on its recapitalization plan. And joining us now from Lagos for more on the story is Kayode Akindele, director at GMH TIA Group. Thanks so much, uh, Kayode, for joining us today. Well, we've just heard the news of the possible recapitalization on a FinBank and the court granting FCMB approval to take over 100% stake. What have you made of the move? Um, it's in line with the announcement by FinBank and, and FCMB that they were in merger discussions. And it looks like what's happened is that um, Amcon is taking a big uh, part of the recapitalization process, taking a big chunk of um, FinBank, and FCMB will be acquiring part of that shareholding through this merger agreement. Let's take a look at the details of this agreement here because FinBank shareholders and Amcon are to receive 16 uh, billion uh, Naira in cash or FCMB uh, shares for this takeover to, to get underway and that compared to an 8 billion Naira current market value of FinBank. So does it sound like a good deal for shareholders? I think it's a very good deal for FinBank shareholders in the sense that FinBank, as for, through the, from 2009 and through the whole recapitalization process, has shown that it can't really, its current operations cannot um, basically pay um, for ongoing operations. So being part of FCMA gives it a chance to continue as a viable entity. And I think for shareholders, it's bet better than getting zero. They're actually going to get something of a bigger organization. What about shareholders of FCMB, though? I mean, does this, what does this deal do for FCMB's uh, position in the market at this stage of the game? I think um, shareholders of FCMB would probably be more cautious on the move. I mean, the acquisition of, um, this acquisition of FinBank will double FCMB's branch network, um, which will give it more reach. But in, in a sense, for FCMB shareholders, in terms of reaching the top tier bank, acquiring FinBank does not really take it into that top tier. You can't compare it to Access Bank acquiring Intercontinental or Echo Bank acquiring Oceanic, which immediately takes those two institutions to the top tier of banking in Nigeria. This doesn't. It puts um, FCMB on the borderline. So FCMB shareholders will probably be a bit cautious to see what happens. A bit cautious, and it will all be dependent on the kind of strategy FCB employs from here on out. We've heard that Access Bank is looking to use uh, cheap deposits that Intercontinental Bank provides to, uh, you know, to grow its loans to corporate specifically. Do you see, what do you see FCMB coming to the table with? Well, in, in reality, I mean, the high end of the corporate market, as most of the banks will tell you, is very competitive and there's very little margins in there because everyone's competing. The real growth areas are a mass retail strategy, a successful mass retail strategy, and also the SME and middle market in terms of corporates. Now, the problem with accessing those markets is that the banks need to have the credit analysis resources, which the 2009 problems and the issues in the banks have shown that they don't. Now they're trying to beef up that so they can actually provide proper loans and be able to track those loans to both the retail base as well as the mid-corporates. So mm -hmm. FCMB will have to show they can do that. And what are some of the execution risks that you foresee for FCMB? Well, um, in terms of size, in terms of, for example, FCMB would double its branch network, for example. Uh, FinBank has, m I think, 30 more branches than FCMB does at the moment. Now, in terms of operating in Nigeria, banks have m branches cause massive operational costs because of the lack of infrastructure, because each branch has to have its own power, its own security, and internet bandwidth is quite expensive. So, in a way, they have to show that having those extra branches will not will bring in enough revenue to justify the extra cost now that is a bit up in the air whether that will happen because for most banks in nigeria only about 10 percent mm -hmm. of their branches actually make a profit well uh Coyote, thanks so much for your time this afternoon of course Coyote akindele is director at gmh tia group but joining us from our studios in lagos nigeria